Hello, in this video I want to show you how you can make registration forms or some kind of a form where people can fill in their names, telephone numbers, you can have a place where they can pick date, uh, you can also have like a drop down button for a list of cities or say a workshop that you had and people can fill it up in Word and they can email the file back to you so you don't have and they can even fill it up in word and then print it you can also have a place for them to uh, put in their picture if they needed it so i've got uh, word 2013 open but which is similar to 2010 and everything i talk about here you'll be able to do it in 2007 also and i'll try to highlight some of the minor differences so you can follow along with me so say here i want you to create a uh, uh, my workshop form so something like that and now before I go ahead I want to save my work so I'm going to click on the save button and I want to save this as a template uh, the idea of the template is that when you create a new blank document you can open the template and then you can make changes to it and then save the file with a new name so that any changes you make doesn't affect the template and then you can just email that file to somebody so I'm gonna click on the save button and then I'm gonna click on browse now in 2007 and 2010 usually this window pops up the save as window and you change the save as type from word document you change it to word template and then I'll give it a name. I'll just say my workshop form. I've got some other ones that I have created in the past. So you need to give it a name. And it saves the file in this folder called custom office templates automatically, which is under my documents, which is fine. I'll click save. So now the file has been saved. Now I want to start adding some content here. So let's see. So I'm just going to say that I want to collect people's first name, last name. I want to get their cell number or home number, whatever you wanted, their email address, uh, I want their address, so I'm just trying to create like a sections and then whatever information I want I can just keep typing their headings, so I'll see province or state, postal code, country, and uh, spelling mistake there, correct it. And then say I wanted to also choose sex, like are they male and female? For this, I'm going to leave a blank because I want to put like a, a circle there where people can choose. And also, uh, say I wanted to ask them questions about what computer programs do you know? So and I want to do it like that where people will be able to choose like a check mark. So I want to put Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, etc. etc. So now I'm just trying to start creating what my document should look like. Uh, maybe I'm just going to hit enter here. And uh, in the corner, maybe I wanted to, or here I wanted to put a place where people can add their picture. So I'll just leave that spot empty for now. Now, what I want to do is start adding content holders where people will be able to type their first name and last name rather than just typing it on their own there. I want to tell them where to put it. So what you have to do is add a tab here on the top called a developer tab, which like the view, which will, be, which will have all the buttons in it. So to add the tab, you click here where it says customize quick access toolbar and then you go to more commands and in here you go to customize ribbon and in here on the right hand side you choose the check mark box for the developer tab and then you click OK and now you should have that and this is same in 2007, 2010 and 2013 because you get all these controls that you can use to add them where you need it so for say I wanted to uh, get them to put a picture there and in the controls there is this button here called picture content control you click it it adds it you can control the size of it if you want it wherever you want it and you can format the effects and things like that uh, some 
positions you may be able to change, not all of them uh, in here. So that this place, people will be able to double click on it and they'll be able to add a picture. Now for the first name, I want to add a text content. So they have two ones. One is called a rich text and the other one is called a plain text. So I'll click rich text. Now if I wanted to make some changes to the wordings in here, then I have to click on the design mode. And then you see this is highlighted and I can say enter first name here. I'll click here and I'll add the rich content again and I can highlight this and I can say enter last name here. So wherever I need to, for them to add that I can do it. Now if I wanted to make this look a little nicer I can highlight it. I can go to the page layout columns and make it two columns. And if I wanted I can highlight all of them and I can go to home and I can make it a bigger font size so that it looks a little nicer. Uh, my workshop form I can make it even bigger size if I want I can do that. So this way you will keep adding whatever you need wherever you need it. Now say for the city I want them to give them an option to pick one of the city from the list. There are two buttons you can use here. One is called a combo box and the other one is called a list content control. The difference is that in list people have to pick whatever is in the list. So they cannot type whatever city they have in their mind. With combo box they can choose one from the list or they can type whatever they have in their mind. So I'll just add a combo box there and you have to be in the design mode so that I can go to the properties of this box and I'll just give it a title city and I'll add the item so I'll click it and I'll say what do I want to call it so I'll just put Toronto I'll put Atlanta I can put New York and I can put something else Vancouver and you can modify any of them again. I can click here and I can even remove this choose item so that that word won't be there or I can modify that word to whatever I want it to be and I can click OK. And say for example for the country I'll practice with a list control and I'll go to properties. I'll just put the word country there and I'll add some values so say USA and I'll put Canada for example and I'll click OK. So we'll see what happens when we actually finish this whole thing up. And uh, for the sex I want to up here add some circles. So in this button here Legacy Tools they have this option button. I click it. It adds it and I want to change the wording on it. I can go to Properties and you'll get this section here and you look for the caption so I'll click in the line for caption remove it and then just put mail and I'll click at the end here and I'll add another one of these circles and I'll change the caption from option 2 I'll change it to female and I can close this window now for this Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, what I want to do is I want them to have like a checkbox. So they have this button, checkbox content, and I click it, and you see it's added. I'll click here, space, and I can add control check mark. So people can just put a check mark in it. And I can highlight them, go to page layout, and I can make it to content columns. So it looks a little nicer. I can do the same thing with city and province columns too and also with country uh, postal code and country I'll do columns too. 
Now you can put the rich text controls wherever you want it. I'm just not doing it to save some time. But if you wanted to put lines anywhere, you can just go to insert shapes, choose the line button, click it one time, let go of your mouse, and then wherever you wanted a line, you just draw it. So say underneath email, I wanted a line. So I just point there. Hold the shift key before you click on the left click on the mouse because by holding the shift key, your line will be very straight. So I'll just line up nicely, hold the shift key down, left click on the mouse and then drag it. And then you get the format tools for it so you can change the shape styles and the lines and you can have different effects on it. The weight, what thickness do you want the line to be. And you can always hit the delete button on the keyboard to delete it. So you can add these lines wherever you want. You can even click on any of the boxes and you can make it underline or bold. So when they type, it will be underlined. So I'll just do that here in that way. And I forgot to mention one more thing, which is I'm just going to click here, hit enter. And say I wanted to add a box here for today's date. So I wanted a play a box here where people can choose the date. So in the developer tab, they have a button called date picker. So I click it. It's added. I can go to the properties for this because it's already clicked on it. I'm in the design mode. And now I can choose that I'll say, you know what, show me the date like this. And I can even get a title there. And there are some features for all the properties like you can choose and say that content cannot be edited. That means people won't be able to make any changes in there. They will be able to print it but not type in it. Or you can say content cannot control cannot be deleted. So you, people cannot delete that section. They have to use it. And also you can use this remove content control when contents are edited. So like once somebody enters something in there, you won't see the controls around it kind of a thing. So those are nice feature. And I can highlight it and increase the font to 14. So that's a nice way to add date picker for date of birth and things. And again, you can type whatever wordings you want in there as you needed it. Now, one of the last steps that I want to do is I want to group them together so that nobody can make any changes to it. That is, they cannot click here in the middle and start adding their own words. So to do this, I go to Home, Select, and then choose Select All. And in the Developer tab, I'll go to group and I'll choose to group it. So this whole section has become one group so nobody can just go around and start messing with it. And if you wanted to uh, restrict editing your template so nobody makes changes to it from the developer tab you can use restrict editing and then you can choose to allow only this type of editing and choose filling in forms so at least people can fill in the forms. And then you can choose start enforcing protection and then you can put a password here so that anybody trying to make change to your template they will need to provide a password and then you click OK and now the restrictions have been set. Now that it has been grouped together you can even turn off the design mode so you can see what it will look like. And you see that underline showed up there, the line is there. People will to type anything there. Choosing an items there. And I can save my work. And I'm going to close this. So I'm going to close this template. And um, what I want to do is I want to go to File and then New. So in, in 2007, you'll be clicking on the Office button and then choose New. Now in 2007 and 2010, right underneath on the left hand side, you'll see an option called blank document, I believe, and underneath it you'll see templates. And there you'll see all your templates listed. In my case, I have this option you call featured and personal. So I click on personal, and here are some of the templates I have in that templates folder, and I'll go to this my workshop form, I'll double click on it. So because this is based on a template, you see it says document on the top. It doesn't say the name of the template because I can save this file before even I do something so I can email it to people to, for them to fill up or I can save this so I can put it on the website so people can download it. 
or and and you can just start making changes here so I can choose a date I can double click here and then browse to go to where my pictures are and add one there I can click here and I can start typing my first name I can click here and I can start typing my last name and if I wanted to choose the city I can choose one from here or because this is the combo box I can type something else in its place thing else I can I can do that there up here I have to choose it from the list because if I try to type my own list here if I try to type something else it will not let me do that because this is a list control box you can choose male or female and you see it switches and then people can also put like a check mark in the boxes here they wanted it now this form is ready to be printed or saved and then emailed to you and before I end I want to go back to the file new option and in the new in 2007 and 2010 I believe on the left hand side you see a whole bunch of sections at the bottom where they have templates and you will see forms listed here go to forms and then you'll see a lots of forms so I'm just going to in my case I'm going to do a search here for form and you'll find that they already have lots of templates created so patient registration form donation pledge form uh, medical phone consultations so they have lots of forms already created that you can actually just download and you can then start filling up the information and changing the wordings that you need so let's say for example this patient registration form I can double click on it it's downloading from the internet and you see here it is so what they've done is they've actually used tables and in the tables they've added cells so they can fill in this information nicely so now you can see how you can actually create this and all you need to do is start modifying this and then you can make changes to this and also the other thing I want to point out here is if I click here and I start to type something it is locked because we had grouped them so people cannot make any changes to this and the same thing here you cannot make any changes to the things easily I think it's allowing me here but if you wanted to make changes you'll have to go to the developer tab turn on the design mode and now you can go in and you can start removing things and changing the wordings from the design mode to the actual content controls because if you don't turn on the design mode you will not be able to make changes to this if you are not in the design mode hope this was uh, useful and you find that this helps you to create your registrations form thank you for watching also and I'll try to highlight some of the minor differences so you can follow along with me so say here I wanted to create a uh, my workshop form so something like that and now before I go ahead I want to save my work so I'm going to click on the save button and I want to save this as a template uh, the idea of the template is that when you create a new blank document you can open the template and then you can make changes to it and then save the file with a new name so that any changes you make doesn't affect the template and then you can just email that file to somebody so I'm gonna click on the hello in this video I want to show you how you can make registration forms or some kind of a form where people can fill in their names telephone numbers you can have a place where they can pick date uh, you can also have like a drop down button for a list of cities or say a workshop that you had and people can fill it up in word and they can email the file back to you so you don't have and they can even fill it up in word and then print it you can also have a place for them to tie, uh, put in their picture if they needed it so I've got uh, word 2013 open but which is similar to 2010 and everything I talk about here you'll be able to do it in 2000 and save button and then I'm gonna click on browse now in 2007 and 2010 usually this window pops up the save as window and you change the save as type from word document you change it to word template and then I'll give it a name I'll just say my workshop form I've got some other ones that I have created in the past 
so you need to make, give it a name and it saves the file in this folder called custom office templates automatically which is under my documents which is fine I'll click save so now the file has been saved now I want to start adding some content here so let's see so I'm just gonna say that I want to collect people's first name last name I want to get their cell number or home number whatever you wanted their email address uh, I want their address so I'm just trying to create like a sections and then whatever information I want I can just keep typing their headings so I'll see province or state postal code country and uh, spelling mistake there correct it and then say I wanted to also choose sex like are they male and female for this I'm gonna leave a blank because I want to put like a a circle there where people can choose and also uh, say I wanted to ask them questions about what computer programs do you know so and I want to do it like that where people will be able to choose like a check mark so I want to put word Excel PowerPoint Outlook etc etc 